Hello everyone, it's Kirby Nee, and welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a safe day, and that you guys are in the best of health. Just to mention the word safe is that a lot of people are getting hit by cars, they're getting run over by cars, and one of the main things that's getting a lot of people killed these days is drunk drivers. So in this time in respect to video, I'd like to talk about that for a few minutes because it's a shame when you can't even leave your house, go out with your friends and kind of hang out. It almost It's almost like you got to hurry up and be home before midnight because there's somebody on the road driving drunk. Now I was reading about in the papers in the Matrix this week that there's three football players or three teammates were in a, a car. And they lost their lives about maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if they was coming back from the club or bar, whatever they was coming back from, but they didn't deserve to lose their lives. And for the most part, these guys that take their life just get a slap on the wrist. They're able to get their driver's license suspended. The insurance is going to pay but so much. And before you know it, everything's settled and we got three dead guys. This guy was a quarterback, but I forgot what team he was for. One of the guys. Drunk drivers. That's I got a I got a problem with that. I really do because you could be just driving anywhere. And and not just at night, but also during the day. Drunk drivers really don't care what time of day it is. If they want to drive drunk, they drive drunk. And if you're in their way, they will run you over. Going down the wrong side of the street, wrong side of the off ramp, wrong side of the freeway. Just ain't worth it. So I would like to encourage everyone to be safe when you're out and about. And not just that, but also when you're in a park during your Fourth of July holiday, because there's a few there was a few shootings, one in Detroit that lost left two, two people dead and a few people shot, and there was somebody that had a birthday party or something at the house. There was some more gunshots going off. Everybody has guns these days. And you almost like to be afraid to go to somebody's house party because you don't know who's going to show up with a grudge against somebody that's in that party that you can catch one of those bullets. It's tragic how people are losing their lives these days or being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm reminded of the incident that happened in Florida. The massive, the massive shark bites. People are getting killed by sharks, losing limbs, swimming in the water. And if that don't happen, the rib tides are taking them away. A husband and wife and two kids went to the beach swimming one day. Two kids made it back, but the husband and wife didn't. Because the rip current took them out there. Now, I'm an experienced swimmer. But I look at that water and I see it's pretty rough. I ain't getting in. I'd rather go to a swimming pool first before I lose my life in anybody's ocean. You're here today and you're going tomorrow. And that's the sad part about it. And it don't even have to be your fault. It could be just something happens that cause you to lose your life over an animal that's hungry or somebody that's driving drunk. You're at the wrong place at the wrong time. There's no young lady that got shot. 
And I think she was a, a basketball player, something like that, high school basketball player. But she got shot. And she lost her life. And there you have another person that died way before their time, that died way too young because of a situation. So again, I would say be safe, watch your surroundings. If you get into an argument with a person, walk away. Because having those extra few words can get you killed. Today, everybody's got a gun. Whether it's licensed or unlicensed, they have a gun. Our court systems are full of people being tried for firearm charges. Just don't make no sense, don't add up. And who would have thought that 2024 would be the year that these three athletes died in this car because of a drunk driver? Drunk driver got a few scratches and walked away. But it's not him that they're going to have to have a funeral for. He was a careless one. Have you noticed how that happens? It's always the ones that cause the accident. And they walk away without a scratch on them. Scot free, do very little time. And the guys that they cause harm to dies. Now the family's got to worry about burying them. So again, I'd like to encourage you all, please stay safe. Remember, the life that you saved just may be your own. So until the next video, don't forget to hit that subscription notification and thumbs up. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.